Okay, in our last video, we got this part of the parking lot set up. I know I have some aligning to do with these islands, but I got my walkways in. I got some parking spots, and when we look at my plan, I just got to get this uh, side to the right going. So let's do that. Let's go back to my site plan, and we're going to take our parking lot, and we are going to edit the boundary. And we're going to use this pick line tool to get this contour shape of the parking lot. And then why don't we do that one? And I can always make this go back, and I don't know how big this is going to be for now. We'll let the design figure that out, so let's just take and pull this up. Remember, anytime we're doing any type of boundary line in here, we have to make sure that it's a closed loop. So, parking lot's going over here. Now, this is when i got to do some layout again. So, in my sketch, I have a, a loading zone for some buses, and then I'm going to have my aisle and there's no parking spots here i wanted to keep the the parking away from the flow of the buses so i have probably a, a we'll say a 10 foot loading zone plus my 24 foot wide aisle so 10 plus 24 i think is 34. so let's go in not a model line i'm sorry a detail line and let's just draw in a line right here and let's make sure that we dimension it that 34 pretty close but not perfect and then right here on this side our aisle is going to have to remain that 24 feet now if i look at my sketch i don't know where this is going to go but i'm going to have 24 on this side so i think if i took and i made a line off of this edge Okay, and then have this go up here. I want to have my aisle go this way, so I'm going to go 24 feet that way. And I'm going to have to take and edit my boundary of my parking lot to that. Green check, and that looks decent. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that curb island in there again. And... Let's look at my design. If I could take and copy some of this stuff. So let's copy it. Hold on, let me look at my design so I have just that part. Okay. So I'm trying to save myself some hassle here. So I think maybe I could take all of this, copy it to over here, all right, and delete some of this line work. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to rotate it by 90 degrees. Now I could take this, and while it's selected, we're just going to bump it into position. Remember, Mr. Tosh is a lazy, lazy man. So anytime we could save some work by using the modified tools, why wouldn't we do it? All right, so that's about right. And now I got my parking spots over here. You could already see there's some issues, right? Because I kind of lost my aisle here. So let's look at my sketch and okay. I got a little too crazy with it. And that's okay, because we can always edit this to go up to this point right here. So I'm going to project some geometry of this off of there. There we go. So that I know where to put this. All right. Then obviously I have some deleting to do. I'm going to use a select tool. All right, let's take and edit the boundary of this. And I have my geometry from over here, keeping my aisle with. So that's why I'm able to do this. It's just going to make life easier. And that's looking pretty decent. Obviously, I have some editing to do to get this to look right. But it's really starting to take shape. And let's give a little 3D look a -roo. 
And all right, so I have some curves to put around this way. All right, and I have um, some more parking spots to add here, but that's not really a big deal at this point. Uh, if we counted up my spots, you know, you need to have, uh, I believe it's like 96, and I don't know how many you have. I'm not going to sit here and count on video. Whoops, wrong uh, level. So I could add the more right here. If I needed to add more, I can always come up here. I could extend the parking lot up further to have this aisle go longer. All right, but by now you get the idea of how I'm getting this to take shape over here. So the one last thing I want to show you is how to do my driveway over here. The way I found to do it, I'm sure someone watching has a much easier way to do it or a different way to do it, but this is just the way that I did it. So first thing we got to do is we got to, we forgot to do some aligning. So let's select this, align the face of the curb with the street. And now it's important I lock this. Where is that lock? It's all the way over here. And what that does is it raises up this island and... So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to cut out the road of this. I'm not going to do all of mine on tape just to save some time. So let's go to that site plan and let's click on our floor, edit the boundary, and we're going to use this nifty little pick line tool. And when you pick the line, there's this little booger right here that's really small. And so uh, just be careful because if you don't get that one, All right, we got to make sure we have that closed boundary loop. So make sure you go around. And did I forget this guy? Yeah, green check. All right, it's telling us something, but I don't really care what it's telling me because here I did it, and my island is cut out. That looks that looks pretty decent, and we'll put the grass in later. Like I said, I would do it all over my plan and just cut these out. All right, I'm not going to do those on video to save some time. So what I want to do here is figure out a way because obviously you know if i go right here and look at this view i have this like little bump and you wouldn't have this car the cars drive over this curb and so i found a way to do this and i'm sure there's easier ways but this is just the way i figured out to do this with um the stuff that we have so if we go to architecture we're in the site level and we go to component there's this like little sidewalk walkway with a ramp we're going to actually put that over here too so if I put those on here, so once I get it in, I'm going to use the align tool. I'm going to align this right there. And then we're going to take, and we could stretch this out to kind of like our boundaries. And just for right now, let me hide this floor. The street, I should say, is what it's called. And before I do that, let's put in another 90 degree curve because I'm kind of confused as to, let's get this one down. All right, so I can kind of see this edge that I have to work with. And let's put in another uh, 90 degree curve right here. And as always, I'm going to use my align tool. Sounded like a broken record, but you kids, you're not going to do it. And now I could just stretch this up to here. All right. So I created this, and I'm just going to leave a slight gap right here. And like I said, let's hide this road for right now. And then we're going to kind of edit this. I'm going to pull this one back as well. It's just pretty close to my intersection. And I'm going to take this and stretch it out. We need to widen these. And it's kind of annoying how it operates. Um, but, you know, we work with what we got. All right. It's just going to. All right. There. And let's go down to the length of our sidewalk. All right. So to kind of play around with this a little bit more, and it's one of those things that kind of has a mind of its own. And 
let's take and edit the boundary of our sidewalk and you can see my line right there so I'm gonna just put a boundary around here I'm gonna use my split element and split these lines and I'm going to repeat the business over here split line All right, so I split the sidewalk, and I probably should have done this first, but we're going to pull this all the way back as far as it will let us, and it, you can only really get so close, so don't worry about being Mr. or Mrs. Perfect here, because let's see what this looks like. All right, so we have some aligning to do. So align this. All right, so it's not working that way. So let's hide the road, or the parking lot, I should say. Let's align this face with this one. And I'm going to pull this edge in line with this edge. Let's see what it happens when I. Yeah. Nope, don't want to do that. So let's go back to my site plan. Let's do it this way. Probably should have done this first. And that looks decent. And let's, of course, edit the boundary of this now. Should align that. Why is that so far over? Oh no! Let's get rid of my grass, which we're going to address in the next video. And so what I need to do is align this with this. Okay, and then I have some cutting out the do of my road. You kind of know how to do that, but let's do it again, just since we're here together. It's being difficult, so let's just hide this. Oh. There we go. So let's edit the boundary of this. So I would go to here. And I would just basically go all the way around with this to cut it out. Let's just do the easy part on video, and then I'll finish the rest. Where the hell is this coming from? I'll finish the rest off video and you guys kind of get the idea by now, hopefully. And I would, I would go around this way, but just to show you what it's going to look like, let's just look. And it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it works for our purposes. It kind of makes a ramp. It'd be neat. We could put maybe like a little uh, catch basin here for the water and pitch the road that way. And obviously we need to add a little bit of uh, a road right here to get out onto our um, driveway. We do the same thing with the ramp going out. All right, so you get the idea on how to do this. The last thing we're going to show you how to do tomorrow on the next video is how to cut out the grass, and we'll be done with the site plan.